Hello, my name is Malcolm Murray. This year I've been experimenting with video for learning and teaching, together with my colleague Dr Nicola Ryman. Nicola is from the School of Education and leads Module 1 of our PGCAP course, which is aimed at staff new to teaching. This course explores educational principles and practice. Completion of the module and the one that follows is an important part of staff's probation process and grants them fellowship of the Higher Education Academy. One important aspect of the course is encouraging staff to reflect more. We've been particularly keen to find ways to improve the amount of reflection in the peer observation component. We've been looking for an intuitive and unobtrusive way to record what goes on in lectures and seminars. That's where the swivel robot comes in. We have been using the TPR approach, Teaching Process Recall. Lecturers select a teaching activity. This is recorded and later discussed with their peers. On the chosen day, I turn up at the start, set up the swivel and answer any questions from the students. The lecturer and I are careful to explain to the students what will happen, noting that the focus of the recording is the lecturer, not them. After a quick test, I'll leave and the lecturer can choose which sections to record using the remote. Afterwards, we download the video and the lecturer can then review it in their own time. For many, this is the first time they see and hear themselves teaching at university. The staff then select a short clip, no more than two minutes, highlighting the issue they want to discuss with their peers. These clips are then uploaded to Blackboard. The videos are shared with other members of the TPR group who can watch them in advance of the face-to-face -face session. When the group meet together, they watch the videos one at a time using them as a trigger for discussion. The aim of that discussion is to provide the lecturer with feedback and suggestions from their peers in a very informal and constructive environment. Having the video means that less time is spent describing, leaving more time to think about what is happening and why. I think it's been a great success, but you don't need to take my word for it. Here are some reflections from staff who took part in TPR in Module 1 of the PGCAP course this year. I decided to do a teaching process recall because I've been teaching on a small seminar group and I was afraid that the students would find the presence of an observer obtrusive. In this sense, this process was very helpful because the machine, the technology was uh, nearly invisible, the students were very comfortable with it and it didn't in any way impact on the actual learning process within the class. Just have a recording. Uh, of one of my lectures which was last week. But I found that um, extremely helpful actually and not intrusive at all, although I was surprised by that. Having the camera in the room I thought would be a sort of imposition, seemed very unnatural, but uh, it didn't seem a particular distraction to students either after their initial curiosity. In terms of the actual group meeting and discussion of the videos, I thought it was a very helpful setting for particularly for young academics and young lecturers early career lecturers who need as much support as possible and also as much of a supportive learning environment to discuss and and look at different um, different issues that similar people in similar positions might encounter in their teaching practice the session was very friendly, it was helpful, I think, for all of us, really, um, also as a, as a way of sharing our um, difficulties and perhaps some of, the, some of the more personal dimension also of encountering teaching for the first time, perhaps, or at this level, and overall it was a very enjoyable experience. Yeah, and it was interesting, I think it was helpful because it actually made me reflect on the power of body language, actually, and uh, uh, the use of gestures, and uh, made me reflect on things that I probably wouldn't do, or possibly would do, uh, in, in, in my future teaching. Uh, it really helped me uh, to understand uh, that there are different ways of approaching an issue, and different ways of... Um, uh, doing a, a, a good uh, lecture or seminar.